Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask myself a very simple question. How long can I lope without meters? Uh, we're back to... <laughs> I just dropped my phone. Back to the weekend series. Gonna take a picture of the stickies, as is our tradition. Um, right here. Doink, there we go. All right. As you can see, I got a haircut. And um, I just spent the past half hour or so working on the sound settings. Uh, Windows decided to set my microphone globally to like 70% for some reason. And now I've been trying to tweak things back <laughs> into uh, the right zone. I don't think they're quite there. Uh, I get very frustrated with sound. Uh, I think I need to do some, some more advanced properties in OBS. Uh, but kind of ran out of time to work on that so hopefully this is uh acceptable normally the first thing i do when i go to record no meters is watch the end of the last episode so i remember what i was doing uh, didn't have time to do that either so we'll just kind of take an inventory and try to work it out we are on well we're not on day 26 we're on day 24 um we're in i want to say this is trappers and it looks, yeah, this is, uh, is this trappers? I don't know. Are you trappers? There's a chair here, so no, I don't think so. There's no, no, the bed would be there. All right, so let's see if I can figure out where we are. Ah, uh, this might be a fishing hut, or a lot, one of the cabins by fishing, perhaps, but this looks like a, that's a bookshelf. All right, well, I have no idea what time it is. The stickies on the screen, for those of you who uh, maybe are new to no meters, is so that I can't see things that even with the UI shut off, you still get to see, like this. I can do, whenever you do this, you will get uh, the time of day. I don't wanna know what time of day it is. So that's out. Um, over on the inventory, I have a sticky kind of center top to cover the weight yes i could do the math but you guys know i'm not going to do the math uh over on the top left i have a sticky covering the weight for the backpack uh both both ways to see how much weight you're carrying then down on the bottom i have a sticky because if you eat or drink it will show you those meters uh and i don't want to see them so i think this might be camp hq there's something up there. There's a second floor. On the other hand, I don't know. I don't know. Where am I? Well, the one thing we're not... Uh, cushion is messed up. One thing we're not set up for well here is food, which we have a bow. Maybe we have food outside, but I don't know how to get outside. The other thing you cannot do when you have the UI shut off is use the dot to find things. This might be a trailer. Was I headed to Coastal? Gosh, I don't know where this is. All right, I may have to pass time. She hasn't complained about being hungry. Let's pass an hour. Okay, unfortunately, I can see the calorie store. I try not to look at that. I can't cover that one because it's right in the damn middle of the screen. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that one. Um, I see a gut here. It's kind of sad that I can't figure out where I am. Uh, you know what, though? I think this might be Trappers. It is. Uh, I couldn't find stuff because, obviously, the UI is shut off. Okay, we'll sleep. I think this is Trappers. No, I could be wrong, though. Nope, it was Trappers. I was right in the first place. Okay, we got a whole bunch of guts here. Uh, no, drop that, for heaven's sakes. And we've got a bear hide that we're curing. We've got all kinds of good stuff going on. Cured deer hide. Let's take a look at clothes. Clothes are pretty decent. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of runs where I would be thrilled to have this set up. 
Uh, we got the backpack. We got bow. We don't know how many arrows we have. I will look in inventory for that because, you know, she would look. The whole point of no meters is to not give me information that you couldn't have normally. Like, for example, during the day, I'm like, hmm, I'm kind of hungry. But I don't know, like, my, like, meter of hungry. So, um, it looks like these are just shafts. Simple arrow, simple arrow. We might only have three. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, weren't we trying to get a moose and instead we got a bear? Now I remember that. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah, I've been so frustrated with these sound settings. Uh, really, really annoying. Good thing I have a couple sewing kits, though. <laughs> I'm carrying an entire, like, craft store with me. Okay, well, obviously it's blizzarding out, but let's see if there's food outside. Not here. We don't have cooking five yet, I don't think. Hey, bunny. What do you have? Pretty sure I took the meat off you. We've got, uh, I think... Yeah. This isn't... This isn't the big, uh, the big farm of bunny snares that I like to set up. We don't have that yet. Alright. So be it. So, if we have well fed, which I don't know that we do, uh, we may lose it, and life will go on if that happens. I'm a big... I have become a big believer in don't sweat the well fed. It's alright. You know, it's good to have. It's a nice to have. It's great to have. But don't go crazy. Don't beat yourself up when you lose it. Don't go crazy about trying to maintain it. You know, don't take stupid risks. Don't risk your run for well-fed. Don't fear the hunger, as uh, Acidic Virus says. All right, I guess we'll just work on our... Uh, our uh, oh, you can't do this when you're something. What is the problem? Why can't I read? Uh, it's light out. Am I thirsty? I might be thirsty. I might be hungry. In which case, I don't have to worry about well-fed. No, it was that I was thirsty. Okay. Can we make another snare? No. We probably could go forge again. Maybe that's what I was thinking about, but... I don't know. I got all this great stuff carrying. All these sewing kits going on. Ugh. Come on, guys. Rabbits, where are you? And see, the thing is, like, I could go hunt a deer. I'm that's just I'm just gonna lose the arrow. That's all that's gonna happen. Need to eat soon. I will lose the arrow. Other than that, nothing. <laughs> so it's bunnies or bupkis at the moment. Because I can't take down a moose with three arrows. A better, a better player than me could do that. That's not this guy. Not yet. Not where I'm at, am I? Certainly not with, like, archery one. Like, maybe get me up to archery five. Maybe with three arrows I can get a good lucky shot in there. Good head shot, back shot. I think some people, uh, I think the Peach Bee is the one who... Strongly believes in the power of the, the the shot, like, above the shoulder. I could be misquoting her. Oh, bunnies. I've killed so many of you. Why have you forsaken me? Alright, well, we could always go over to Muskeg. And get a billion cattails. Now what the hell, let's do that. She's already cold. You know what, though? Astrid, I think you're gonna make it. 
I'd hate to lose my whole run on this, but whatever. I didn't really know you could do this little move. This is neat. Huh. There's always something new to find out. That's kind of cool. I can't feel that. That almost feels like a better way. Is it a better way to get to the pond? I don't know. I have to explore that. Have I been here? Of course I've been here. I haven't been here. But there isn't anything here. So it doesn't matter. I often get disoriented by this location. It messes me up, but I've worked it out. I'm doing a lot of sprinting. Because I don't want to get too cold. I'd like to head to um, the boxcars. I believe its official name is Poachers. Oh, so cold. I'm not into the official names. <laughs> Someone joked on Twitch that they should have a, uh, a an extra language setting that is done and just has like all my location names come up. Uh, what do I have for fuel? Kind of nothing. So, you know, a stick or two wouldn't be the worst thing that ever happened to me. Now, one of the most fun parts of, um, no meters to me is the fact that I have no idea what my condition is. And a big part of interloper, for me anyway, is using your condition as a resource. Anything right about now. You know, whereas on Voyager, as a Voyager player, I tried to never go under 100%, which is a very achievable goal on Voyager. Uh, on Interloper, it, it you can get there, but early, early Interloper, it's very hard to keep yourself from never taking damage. And I started to just treat that as like, okay, well, I know I, know I can heal it. You know, if you're not doing Nagoa or something, you know, or, um, as a dead sleep, I think has the same rules where you can't heal. Uh, then, you know, you can heal it off. It's a good night's sleep, full belly, maybe a little herbal tea, and, you know, you're good to go. So, condition just becomes another thing that you can spend. Uh, but that stops being true or becomes less true when you don't know how much you have. Now, this is a lot less cattails than I expected. Because I've been here. I've already done this. Ugh, done. You already did this. How terrible. Now, because I'm not prepared to deal with him, the moose will be here. I'll slowly angle towards um, boxcars. I'm a little worried about running into some friends. Finally. Now, I didn't need the uh, head. See, now I'm like, geez, you're so close. You might as well. Whoops. Another thing you don't get a warning for when you have the UI shut off is the ice cracking. You have to listen. 
Which I think is pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. Uh, maybe I go bang out some airheads? Airheads. Arrowheads. <laughs> some airheads? <laughs> While I'm here? Maybe. So don't surprise me there. Oh, really? Oh, there goes that. That, I believe, is starvation. I think, I think we just lost it. Yeah. I have a feeling that that was it. You know what? Life will go on. We will reach a point where we just always have food. Everything will be amazing. Now, I kind of bet I've already gone through here. I've already taken the coal. Oh, hello. So at this point, where I'm pretty sure she's uh, starving in a literal sense. Might as well let her keep starving. It's only 1% an hour. It's not that big a deal. As long as we have enough food for her to sleep. Hey there, buddy. Here's my friend. Hello, friend. Okay, so this sucks. Um... Do we have mag lens? We do. Can we start a fire with the mag lens? Yes. That doesn't suck. This may not get hot enough. These stickies are starting to peel a bit. Um, that may not get hot enough I'm to keep us fire. warm. And it will be hard to know if it is. We don't have a meter to check. Can't see the temperature. Don't know. I think my better option is to just make a tea and uh, get out of here. So that if we are taking damage from uh, oh we had one. Can we put this one down? Right there. Give it a jiggle. Alright, cook me up some rose hips. Drink that. Maybe we got a broken railroad? I don't think we've been there. You're not warm yet? Now you are. Okay. Give me torches till you can't. We don't know how many it's going to be. You just do it. Maybe we go to Broken Room. Because I'm thinking about the fact that while I'd like to go forge, um, I'm not sure the coal is there. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've used it all up. I could go to the Bleak Cave to gather more. Or the cave to um, Milton Basin. That feels like a lot of work. Whereas, pretty sure the uh, coal will just be at the forge in um, Broken Railroad. Will it be enough, though? Will there be enough coal there? If there isn't, there's nowhere in Broken Railroad to go get more. Mm. Decisions, decisions. One of the things I love about the game is that you you have to make all these calls. You have to make all these choices with limited information. And what I love about this mode is that you have even more limited information. One thing I'm really enjoying is this muskeg weather. see a wolfie down there. 
And with good timing, I hear the wind picking up. Astrid is not fully cold yet. Okay, there's two wolfies over there. I don't know. I don't know that I want to do... There's three of them. I don't know that I want to deal with all three of you jerks. Maybe we try to go around at least some of you. Now, I'm starting to get close to that Milton Basin. Oh, maybe only now you're starving. I don't know. I thought... I thought my stomach feels like an empty pit with starvation. But she shouldn't say anything else after that. And she just did. Maybe only now we went to starvation? I don't know. I only know a few of her sound cues specific to what it means. Um, like... Is 50% thirst. <laughs> she smacks her lips. It's really annoying. <laughs> yeah, we're so cr close to Hat Creek. Maybe we just go in here. This torch is about to go out. Come on. Hey, there you go. I feel like I might need to sneeze. Hit the mute in time there. Now, am I going to sneak around the broken ice here? I think I can. 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 Yes. There we go. That was a story from when I was a kid. The little engine that could. It had to get up a big hill, and it did it by telling itself that it thought it could. Like self-motivation. I don't know if kids still get the little engine that could. In today's modern era of Baby Shark and Paw Patrol. Oh, how's that tea? Uh, is that still warm? Because I kind of forgot about it. I may have even left it. <laughs> I think I did. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't, but it's cold. All right, well, whatever. You know what? Uh, pick up the freaking stick. Holy crap. I gotta remember where this cave is. I don't have a ton of experience with Hat Creek, and which I think that's what this is. And um, this whole situation uh, where you get up to the little birch forest. I'm interested in what these crows are circling. Boy, this this. This has just been such a done episode. I go outside for what exactly? I leave trappers, I don't know, just to do something. And then I'm like, hey, let's go to Muskeg and get the cattails. And then now we're, now we're headed up to, you know, this area and possibly the basin and... <laughs> Now, what are you guys circling? I can't get to it. It's up It's up top. Okay. Very well. My brain is just all over the map today. Literally. We're literally all over the map. Look at all this Burbank. This is great. Watch that torch. I think we're going to lose it, but I don't really think we need it either. Other than to start a fire. Ah, that made me mad. Oh, that was annoying. Well, we needed to get through the cave, so there's that. Okay, so I think that's three quarters cold. It must be pretty warm to only be at that. God, take forever, why don't you? Good grief. What are you, building a house? Damn, out of coffee. It's not good. Can I lope 10 days with coffee? I can't lope 10 days without it. <laughs> OK, 
Come on. <laughs> Alright, uh, cave is around here somewhere. Is this the cave or is this a cave? This, that's the cave. Alright, nice. Okay, how many torches do I have? Uh, the answer is two. And the next one sucks. Okay, let's look for coal. She should be warming up. See, I came for coal. Why are we going down? I expected to go up. Oh, boy. Hello, KC. You know me. Uh, can I make a torch? No. Astrid, do you have a bedroll? No. What's wrong with you? Why don't you have a bedroll? I think that's what we're, like, crafting. Oh, I may need to make a fire here. So that we can get more torches. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And maybe I do have a bedroll and I just left it somewhere. <laughs> oh. Uh, I have not checked to see how much water we have. Ugh. Hang on a second. We only have the one can? What are we doing? Because probably a lot of stuff is at Camp HQ, I bet. Suddenly, I'm like Mr. Cares about his weight and doesn't want to run around with his pot and his skillet because, you know, oh, I don't want to be overburdened. Me and my nine sewing kits will be over here. Not having a skillet because we want to make sure we we're, we're low weight. <laughs> I mean, obviously, some kids don't weigh a lot, but okay, this is the coal I was hoping for. Rebuild the stick army. Uh, I don't know about you, Rope. I don't know that I care about you. So I don't think we've been to Mountain Town. I don't really necessarily feel like it's a good time to go. I mean, we probably have been, to, we've been on the, the, the trapper side, you know, through the cave. We've gone there and got the cattails, I'm sure. I always do that pretty early. But in terms of going to Mountain Town proper, I don't think we've been there. You never know though. I hope I didn't lose that torch. You and the damn torch eating. Done. Alright, so it's worth being aware that all this while we're taking damage from hunger. But it's not a lot. Thanks for nothing. What about you, blue? No, not you. Blue container thing. Thank you. 99%? Astrid, your ship has come in. I permit you to eat that. There, stop taking damage. Now... As long as there's no moose here. <laughs> Cue the moose. 
I think I'm just gonna boogie. So now I have the coal I want. Now hang on, what are you guys circling? A dude. It's just a freaking dude. Yeah, do I have a hex? I don't think I have a hex on with me either. No. So, like, wh what am I going to go forge with? How much scrap do I have? None. Okay. So this is just a stupid plan. <laughs> right. Well, we did come here to find food. I guess we can do that. And we'll head back. I think I've checked this hunter's blind. You're good, Astrid. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Stupid wolf. I'm not tremendously worried about you, but you're probably going to prevent me from going to that hunter's blind that I wanted to go to. Going to broken railroad anyway. Why the hell not, right? We'll just run over there and see what's up. Stupid plan. <laughs> I mean, to call it a plan just gives it far, far, far too much credit. And am I cold? I should be cold by this point, you would think. Her hand isn't really shaking, though. Oh, no. All right, well, I think I can get into Broken River pretty quickly. We'll decide what to do next. Because then, you know, my brain's going to go, well, we're already here. We might as well go check the cabin. Why don't you have a drink? We know you can do Oh, well, we don't have a lot of water either. All right, let's just get into the... Uh, do I want to stop and warm up? I can make a Maglons fire. Actually. Come to think of it. As long as we're just doing dumb shit. To warm up that tea. Grab a few torches. Come on, little fire. This part has run longer, I believe, than is normal for uh, no meters. Uh, apologies if you're used to no meters being short. Just my silly planning, I think, for the most part. Tired. Me just being <laughs> very off script today. Tired, Astrid. I'm getting tired is probably quarter stamina. I've done a lot of sprinting. I love the sound of the crampons on the uh, tracks. I think it's great.
Come on. There you go. Alright, maybe I try not to sprint again. I don't know. I like to sprint. Uh, a friend of mine, Very Tiny Burb, has been streaming Horizon Zero Dawn, or the various Horizon games. And one of the things that always tickles me about that game is that the main character is always running. <laughs> she is never not running. <laughs> just like, just in a town, like just a market, everyone else is walking around. She's booking it. I think a new like, Zero Dawn West, I think, just came out. I think that's like the sequel, maybe. I saw yesterday, though, Slay the Spire 2 was announced. Slay the Spire is one of my favorite games. Um, just completely defines the roguelike deck builder genre for me. And uh, very excited. And what, not even early access till next year, but um, very excited. For that. Astrid, you can eat later. Check this backpack. Wow. Well, now I'm glad I came to Broken Railroad, huh? And a vest? Okay, I don't want to go in into the workshop area with um, a bad torch, so... Thank you for properly chaining the torch. Oh, I might as well just go to F.A. at this point, right? Now here's our friend, so I don't have to worry about where is he. And I might be able to just have him follow me in. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you behind me. Yeah, stay with me, dude. Yeah, I think he's going to hand off to this guy. I don't fully understand when they hand off and when they don't, but boy, they are all over the place in here, aren't they? All right, we're definitely going to have to do some, uh, yeah, yeah, hello. I don't actually know who's on me at this point. It looks like this guy. Whoever it is, let's go. Come on. This could get dicey. So we have other guys here, like this dude right here. There's a lot going on here at the moment. Damn it. I thought I, I... I don't like to shoot with the controller. You know what? I'm kind of getting tired of you guys. So, I'm done playing this game. Alright. We've made it. I'm going to take the save here. Because I know that we are over time. And, uh, hey... <laughs> When I started the episode, didn't think we'd be here, but that's how things go sometimes in the uh, the world of done. Uh, let's see, we are on day 24. So uh, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, if you could do the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, those do really help me. I'll be back tomorrow with more adventures in, in the long dark. Said the thing too quickly. With more adventures in the long dark. Why? Because I upload new long dark content every day. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.